हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल बीट द नीट एंड कैसे हैं बच्चों आप सब लोग आई होप कि आप लोग बहुत बढ़िया होंगे एंड अपना रिवीजन फास्ट मैनर में इन क्विक रिवीजन पॉडकास्ट की हेल्प से कर रहे होंगे uh, हमारा प्लांट फिजियोलॉजी कंप्लीट हो गया है एंड आज हम स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं ब्रीदिंग एंड एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज से आपकी ह्यूमन फिजियोलॉजी और इसको पूरा फटाफट कंप्लीट करेंगे छोटा सा चैप्टर है और इसके सारे इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट जो आपके एन में दिए हुए हैं जो नीट एग्जाम में आने वाले हैं उन सारे ही पॉइंट्स को हम पूरा पूरा इसमें रिवाइज करने वाले हैं सो so, एक भी सेकंड के लिए इसके कोई भी वर्ड को मिस मत करिएगा अदरवाइज आपका रिवीजन हैम हो सकता है सो so, चलिए और ज्यादा बातें नहीं करते हैं शुरू करते हैं इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब और लाइक भी करते रहो भाई सिर्फ इसको सुनो ही नहीं इसको लाइक like भी करो और अपने दोस्तों के साथ में भी शेयर करो बेटा इससे बहुत मोटिवेशन मिलता है हम टीचर्स को सो so, चलिए शुरू करते हैं ब्रीदिंग एंड एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज सो बेसिकली ब्रीदिंग और रिस्पायरेशन दैट इज द एटमोस्फेरिक ऑक्सीजन एक्सचेंज एंड सीओ टू प्रोड्यूस्ड बाई द सेल दैट इज द बेसिकली एक्सचेंज विच हैपन्स सो रिस्पायरेटरी ऑर्गन्स बेस्ड ऑन हैबिटेट्स एंड लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट इट इज डिवाइडेड सो ऑर्गेनिजम्स लाइक स्पॉन्जेस सिलेंट्रेट्स फ्लैट फॉर्म्स एंड मैकेनिज्म दे आर हैविंग सिंपल डिफ्यूजन अर्थ फॉर्म इज डूइंग रिस्पायरेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ मॉइस्ट स्किन Insects are with the help of tracheal tubes. Aquatic arthropods, mollusk, fish are by the branchial or gills, and amphibians, reptiles, aves, and mammals by the pulmonary or lungs. Amphibians show cutaneous respiration all the time. Now, the outlook of human respiratory system with the help of a flow chart. I am telling you this thing. This flow chart I will share on my uh, Telegram channel, so you can see over there. So basically, here. nostrils then after nos- nasal chamber then after pharynx then over there larynx is also there then after trachea then bronchus primary secondary tertiary and initial bronchiole and then after alveoli so elastic cartilage that covers glottis during swallowing basically that is known as the epiglottics and in close contact with thoracic ring outer and inner we are having the two pleural membrane in lungs and uh, that inner membrane is in contact with the lung surface and pleural fluid reduces friction on lung surface nostril nasal chamber pharynx and larynx larynx is basically voice box and uh, nostrils nasal chamber and pharynx pharynx is basically common passage for air and food now the trachea divides at fifth thoracic vertebra and uh, initial bronchiole till here supported by incomplete cartilaginous ring and then after vascular bags are the alveoli with thin irregular walls now the portion from nostril to like trachea that is the conducting zone and conducting zone is having the humidity function like humidification of air transport of air trap dust present in inhaled air bring air to the body temperature and then after the remaining one is the uh, from alveoli that is a respiratory zone so from nostril say like till bronchiole the terminal bronchiole over there that is conducting zone and then after the respiratory zone and respiratory zone is basically for the exchange of gases clear now then after mechanism of breathing so lungs enclosed in an anatomically air tight thoracic chamber essential for breathing as we cannot alter pulmonary volumes directly movement of air follows the pressure gradient a specialized set of structures involved in breathing and a normal rate of breathing is 12 to 16 times per minute in adult human and it involves inspiration and expiration so in inspiration intrapulmonary pressure is low and in expiration it is high and pressure in the lungs with respect to the atmosphere is negative in the case of inspiration and in expiration it is positive and the shape of diaphragm it is flat in the case of inspiration and it becomes dome shaped in expiration and the structure is already given in your book here it is the sternum rib cage vertebrae intercostal muscles laterally it is present and diaphragm at the posterior side it is present so intercostal muscles helps in contraction that changes volume in dorso ventral axis so contraction that is changes volume in anterior posterior axis that is mainly and additional muscles involved in expiration abdominal muscle it is then after next is exchange of gases so partial pressure drives respiration site of exchange is alveoli this is the primary site of exchange and between blood and tissues it is doing this now the partial pressure is pressure contributed by an individual gas in a mixture of gases now the respiration steps we are having breathing or pulmonary ventilation diffusion across alveolar membrane that is less than 1 mm thick 
and transport of gases by blood and diffusion between blood and tissues and then after cellular respiration. So, uh, partial pressure I am telling you of gases like in breathing or uh, pulmonary ventilation the O2 partial pressure is 159 and CO2 is 0 0.3. Diffusion across alveolar membrane at that time partial pressure of O2 is 104 and of CO2 is 40 and transport of gases by blood at that time it is 95 for O2 and 45 for CO2 and uh, in the case cellular respiration that is 40 for O2 and 45 for CO2. Now respiratory volume and capacities this is very important. So instrument we use spirometer and significance clinical assessment of pulmonary function. Standard volume we are telling here tidal volume air inhaled or exhaled per breath is TB it is represented by and 500 it is value in ml i am telling you and that is the standard capacities we are telling inspiratory reserve volume or forceful inhalation that is irv that is between 2500 to 3000 and then after the expiratory reserve volume or forceful exhalation that is erv that is between 1000 to 1100 and residual volume or air left in lungs after forceful exhalation that is rv and that is 1100 to 1200 between now then after minute volume that is TV into respiratory rate that is 500 into 12 that is like the 600 to 8000 ml and pulmonary capacity that is addition of various respiratory volume that is FRC and is equals to RV plus ERV. Already I told you what is FRC, RV and ERV. Then after transport of gases. So it happens in lungs and uh, t between the tissues with the help of blood and O2 and CO2 is doing the exchange is happening of these gases. Now oxygen 5 ml of O2 is delivered to the tissue by 100 ml of oxygenated blood and 4 ml of CO2 is delivered to alveoli by 100 ml of deoxygenated blood. 3 percent dissolved in plasma that is the case of oxygen and 7 percent dissolved in plasma in the case of carbon dioxide. 97 percent as oxyhemoglobin in the case of oxygen and 20 to 25 percent as carbamino homoglobin in the case of carbon dioxide. Binding of O2 with hemoglobin is primarily related to PO2 and binding of CO2 with the hemoglobin is related to PCO2 as well as PO2. So hemoglobin plus oxygen is forming oxyhemoglobin and hemoglobin plus CO2 is forming carboamino hemoglobin. Now there are some parameters. So basically these parameters are high PO2, low PCO2, high HIN, high temperature and location. So association of and dissociation of hemoglobin and oxygen I am telling here. Then after I will tell the same thing for the CO2. So here in the case of high partial pressure of oxygen, the association increase and dissociation in decrease. Lower PO, PCO2 case that is association decrease and dissociation increase. High HIN condition association decrease and dissociation increase. And at high temperature association decrease and dissociation increase. And location is the lung and in the case of dissociation that is the location is tissue. Then after in the case of hemoglobin plus CO2 and formation of carbamino hemoglobin, the association at high PO2 decrease and dissociation increase and low PCO2 case may it association increase and dissociation decrease. High HIN case may association increase and dissociation decrease just opposite of P the, with the case of oxyhemoglobin it is. And at high temperature it is association increasing and dissociation decrease. And association is happening here in the case in tissue so that is the location and dissociation is happening here lungs that is in alveoli. Now the each hemoglobin molecules carries or binds 4 oxygen molecules in a reversible manner. Oxygen dissociation curve obtained is sigmoid and maximum 70% CO2 is transported as bicarbonate facilitated by enzyme carbonic anhydrase which exist more in RBC and minute quantities in plasma. So the reaction is CO2 plus H2O in the presence of carbonic anhydrase that is forming, forming H2CO3 and in the presence of carbonic anhydrase again it is forming HCO3 ion plus H ion. So this is about transport of gases. Now the regulation of respiration. Humans have significant ability to maintain and moderate the respiratory rhythm to suit the demands of the body tissues. So here the regions involved, pneumotaxic center, chemosensitive area, aortic receptors and carotid receptors. So location is pons and uh, it is reduces duration of inspiration and 
Then after med medulla oblongata that is a chemosensitive area and uh, aortic arc that is aortic receptors and carotid artery that is carotid receptors and all these three medulla, aortic and carotid are the respiratory adjustments and then after it is sensitive to PCO2 and HIN and it influences the medulla oblongata that is a primary respiratory rhythmic rhythm center. The role of oxygen in regulation of respiratory rhythm is quite significant. Now there are some disorders related with the respiration like asthma or asthma. Impact zone is inflammation of bronchi or bronchioles and characteristics like wheezing sound. Emphysema that is impact zone, that's impact zone is alveolar wall damage in chronic cigarette smokers and uh, characteristics like respiratory surface decreased. And then after occupational respiratory disorder, impact zone is lungs and characteristics is fibrosis, lung damage, etc. And masks give protection to workers engaged in industries that are involved in dust producing, grinding and stone breaking. So, इसी के साथ ही हमारा ये chapter complete हो गया, breathing and exchange of gases and I hope कि आपने 10 मिनट के अंदर इस पूरे chapter की सारी important चीज़े अच्छे से revise कर ली होंगी and definitely you are enjoying this podcast series. So, share your views in comment section and in case if any changes you need, tell me that also. So, see you soon in the next podcast. Till then, just stay tuned with me. Till then, goodbye, good luck.